Hello everyone, welcome to this quick video of how we can connect our external network adapter to our Kali Linux virtual machine that is very necessary if you are going to perform network penetration testing or Wi-Fi hacking. So let's continue with the video and let me show you which network adapter I am using currently. So this is the TP-Link website and here this is the network adapter that I am going to use in the Wi-Fi penetration testing and network hacking session. This is the version you can buy it too. Now if we are done with the network adapter, let's head back to our Kali Linux virtual machine and let's see how we can set up that. So here we are inside our virtual box and if you want to know how we can set up our virtual box, how we can set up and configure our virtual machine on our host machine. So we have uploaded and taught everything in our Linux course. So do check it out instantly if you want to learn how we can use Kali Linux machine or Linux machine in our hacking process. So let's see we have multiple Kali Linux virtual machine here and I'm going to use one of these in the network hacking session in the workshop. So let's uh, choose this virtual machine and let's go to the settings and once we open settings let's head to USB here and if the USB controller isn't enabled here like this so you just have to click on the tick box and it will be enabled and you can choose either USB 2.0 controller or USB 3.0 controller but I am using 2.0 as my laptop and you can choose according to your laptop as well then where you have to head now is you just have to take your network adapter and connect it to your laptop after you connect it to your laptop go here and you can see here is a add new usb filter option just click here and then there you will see the chipset of your network adapter in my case the chipset of my tp link network adapter is real tech so i am going to tick box it and once we hit ok here what you have to do is just disconnect your network adapter now and start your Kali Linux virtual machine. So now once your Kali Linux machine is up and running just connect back your network adapter here and click on the terminal and increase the size of terminal first so just do this and if we type ifconfig here and if we hit enter as you can see we have only two network interfaces here that is loopback interface and each zero each zero is nothing but your external network adapter that is being used as a bridge adapter i haven't shown you the bridge adapter setting so let me show you once again in our virtual box so if we go here in the in the settings and we head to networks you can see i have configured this network setting to bridge adapter you can use it to nat as well but i have used the bridge adapter here and just click on ok here so now what you have to do is as you have included the USB filter there just go on the devices go on the USB here and click and then click back it again. Now if you will type ifconfig here you can see we have LAN 0 here and LAN 0 is nothing but our external network adapter and if you will type lsusb here. So as you can see we have our TP-Link TLWN722N version 2 version 3 Realtek network adapter is connected to our Linux machine. So that's how you can connect your external network adapter to your virtual Kali Linux machine and that is much needed and much necessary for performing network hacking and Wi-Fi penetration testing.